I'd like to add something to my solution. This is the last page of my solution, in which I show that if I move the big block over a distance x1, that if I move it just a hair further, then the small box will slip. So I move it and I hold it firm in my hands. That x1 is then mg mu divided by k. You can go over that solution. But then, it's a remarkable thing. If I now were to pull my hands off, instantaneously, the frictional force on the small mass will instantaneously go down by a factor of 3. And so by extension I said, so therefore, the maximum value that the object could oscillate on its own, which is very different from Walter Lewin moving it out to x max, that's not possible. No, it's now going to oscillate on its own and it increases and increases and increasing its amplitude until it reaches x max. Now x max, I argued, is three times larger than x1. Could I have bypassed this whole x1 thing? Of course. That's why I want to add a little bit to the solution. So suppose now that this block 2m, all by itself, no Walter Lewin involved, is now oscillating back and forth and it reaches a value of x maximum. And that's the one that we want to calculate. When the block, which is now doing this back and forth, and it has an amplitude of x maximum, then this spring here is squeezed over a distance x max. So there is now a spring force in this direction, which is pushing it in this direction, which is k x max. The frictional force is obviously in this direction. And since it is the maximum that we allow it to be, that frictional force is now mu mg. So now the net force on this object is the sum of these two vectors. That must be ma. But the acceleration, when it is in simple harmonic oscillation, is minus omega squared times x, and in this case it's x maximum. So this is the acceleration in this equation, f net equals ma. Well, we calculated omega squared, that was 2 thirds times k over m. And so we now get the equation that ma, m times a, it is in this direction, so it has a minus sign, equals the frictional force, which is in this direction, which is mu mg. And then there is this spring force in this direction, which is minus k x max. And so, we never talked about x1. We immediately let the large block now oscillate on its own and have an amplitude of x max. And this equation immediately leads you to the result. x max is 3 mu g divided by k. All right. So if you think that the step that I made here is a little bit too fast for you, for you, you see now that without ever discussing the issue of x1, you can set up the equations right away and get the result that the maximum amplitude of this block, when it is oscillating, that's key, it has to be oscillating, is 3 mu mg divided by k. Okay, I call this my solution number two. Take care and have a nice day.